Well, Hi Lighthouse, it's really great to be with you guys today. I hope that wherever you are, you're, you're well and you're managing okay at this difficult time. Well, today we're going to be diving into the first line of the Lord's Prayer, which is Our Father in Heaven, or Our Father who art in Heaven. Now, before we get started, I think it's important to remind ourselves that for different people, the word Father will mean different things. For some of us, it will have some great memories and it will be a positive word. And for others of us, it will be the opposite. Because humans are sinful and we're far from perfect. So our fathers may be far from perfect too. But the good news is today that our God is a perfect father. And it says that in Matthew 5 verse 48. So what does having God as our father mean? Well, the word father is relational, isn't it? It signifies that we are in relationship. And it says in John, 1 John 3 verse 1, See how much our Father loves us. For he calls us his children, and that is what we are. So when we say our Father, what we're doing is we are declaring our relationship with him. We're declaring who he is to us, but also who we are to him. So we're declaring a relationship made possible through Christ and because of our relationship with God we can enter boldly into his presence it says in Hebrews 4 16 so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God so firstly we are declaring our relationship with him secondly the a, a father is a resource isn't it I wonder whether you can remember being slightly younger and asking your dad for some money or maybe you're now on the receiving end of that and your kids are asking you for money you see, being a father means being a resource, doesn't it? Because our kids have access to what we do as parents. That might be food, that might be money, and that might be wisdom. But it is exactly the same with God. You see, God is our provider, he is our sustainer, and he is our way maker. It says this in Proverbs 3 verse 6. It says, seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. James 1 verse 5 says, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. You see, God as Father, he is our resource. So number one, he, when we say Father, we're declaring our relationship to the Father. Secondly, we're reminding ourselves that God is our resource. And thirdly, it goes on to say, who is in heaven? Now, this is a great reminder that God is above everything, that God is in control and that nothing is a surprise to him. I know some some dads have just got a natural ability, haven't they, to to really just put their kids at ease, to make them feel better and just to comfort them at difficult times. Now, how much more does our father in heaven have that ability? Because he knows what is and is to come. He is the beginning of and he is the end isn't he so he knows exactly what we're going through and he knows exactly what we need and when we need it so how much better is our father at comforting us and also just it's such a comfort for us to know that no matter what's going on around us that he is in control so when we say this prayer when we say our father who art in heaven Let's just remember three things. Let's remember that when we say that, we're declaring who we are to God. We're declaring that we are his sons and his daughters, and that because of this, because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can come into his presence with boldness, with confidence that we are forgiven and that we have access to his grace and that he is listening intently, just wanting to speak and hear us. Secondly, we can remind ourselves that God is our resource. That no matter what is going on, God has the resource to deal with it. He's our sustainer, he's our provider, and he is our way maker. And lastly, like we've just said, it can remind us that he is in control, that he is beyond anything that we are facing right now. He is above that. And he is so powerful with on words. So no, 
So matter, no matter what you guys are going through today, be encouraged that God is for you, God is with you, and God is our perfect Father who loves us and wants what is best for us. My wife and I have just had a beautiful daughter called Emmaus, so I'm just getting used to this whole father thing. But something I'm noticing more and more is just the amount of love I have for my daughter. Now, before before I had my daughter, I would, I you just can't describe what it would what it would be like when it happens until it happens. So if the, if I've got that level of love for my daughter, it just blows my mind to think of how much love God has for each and every one of His children, and that includes you today. So let's pray, Father God, we thank you that you are our Father and that we are your children. And we thank you for everything that that means, Lord, that we have access to your resources, to your wisdom and to your guidance. And God, we thank you that you are above everything. Nothing is a surprise to you and that you are in control and you have the power to change situations. So Lord, would you be with us today? Would you help us to grow in relationship with you? In Jesus' name, amen.